Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to go into a little bit more detail about what we actually see happen after the sign. Um, I'm on September the 23rd now and we're going to go through, we're going to go forward by day. So September the 23rd I'm going up by day, see 24th, uh, 25th and so forth. So as uh, as the sign is complete, we saw we see all the, the planets come past Jupiter and uh, they progress on and we see Saturn start to move from the feet of, uh, of Ophiuchus which is uh, the representation of Jesus Christ along the constellation uh, God will make his enemies a footstool and um, uh, the serpent will bite his heel and there we can see uh, the, the only the foot of Ophiuchus is on the ecliptic and that's why they kicked him out of the calendar so going forwards we're in October the 21st now and the planets are starting to move. They all go past. Uh, they, they all go past Jupiter, and Saturn is starting to move from the feet of Ophiuchus. So, as you know, uh, Saturn is the planet of Satan, and um, Mars is now going through Virgo. You see, so Mars is the war planet. Virgo is Israel, and Mars is going through Virgo. So, obviously, at the rapture of the church, um, there's some serious uh, um, things going on in Israel. And um, Mercury then comes, watch how Mercury goes into retrograde motion here around Saturn, saying something's, go something's going, going up with Saturn now. Okay, so Saturn then goes into, into Sagittarius as Jupiter goes into Libra. Now I'm just, gonna, I'm just going to cover something with you now about Libra. So, so Saturn, see Saturn is entering into Sagittarius as Jupiter is entering into Libra. Jupiter then goes forward. Mercury is is going retrograde motion around Saturn. So, so this is heralding an event here. Okay, Saturn goes forward, and then Jupiter goes into the constellation of Libra. But actually, in in the actual, um, you can see it. It's what what is represented as scales at the moment, and right there, you can see Mars has a uh, a conjunction with Jupiter right in the center. Of Libra now now Libra at the moment is depicted as scales on the um, in, in the zodiac but what we have to remember is that that uh, Satan has done everything he can to corrupt this message and um, the 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 authority on this on the constellations and the the Matsaroth is a uh, uh, Bollinger he wrote this book in 1893 and I want to read you something which obviously the Holy Spirit led him to uh, led him to write because once once you once you apply this to what we're seeing right here, it all makes sense. So here, listen to what he says. There is, however, some reason to suppose that Libra is a very ancient Egyptian corruption, bringing in human merit instead of divine righteousness, the way of Cain instead of the way of God. In the more ancient Akkadian, the months were called after the names of the signs and the sign of the seventh month is the sign that we now call Libra the Akkadian name for it was Tulku Tul means mound and Ku means sacred hence Tulku means the sacred mound or the whole the holy altar so Libra is a corruption which is showing you scales but in actual fact it is a holy altar it is the throne room okay look what happens with the church in Revelation chapter um, 12, it says, And she brought forth a man-child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron, and her child was caught up unto God and to his throne. Revelation 4 verses 1 to 2, After this I looked, and behold, a door was open in heaven, and the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking to me, saying, Come up hither, and I will show you the things which must be thereafter. And immediately I was in the Spirit, and behold, a throne was set in heaven, and one sat on the throne. Mention of the altar, Revelation 6, 9. And when he opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them which were slain. Revelation 8, 3. And another angel came and stood at the altar. Revelation 8, 5. And the angel took the censer and filled with the fire of the altar. Revelation 9, 1. Uh, and the sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar. Revelation 11, 1. And there was given me... A reed like unto a rod, and the angel stood, saying, Rise and measure the temple of God and the altar. Revelation 14:18. And another angel came out from the altar, which had power over fire. And uh, Revelation 16:17. And I heard another 
out of the altar say even so lord god almighty true and righteous are thy judgments so as you can see guys uh, um, the altar is mentioned all over the book of revelation so this is almost certainly something that uh, satan is going to want to have uh, perverted uh, which he has done so in libra so here we see the church coming out of the womb of virgo and what is it doing it's going right into libra now libra is depicted as scales on the current um uh, zodiac but bollinger makes it clear that libra has actually been is, is actually a perversion of what the truth is so it says not only is the name and its meaning different but the teaching is infinitely greater and more important if we may believe that the original picture of the sun was not a pair of scales but the representation of a holy altar this would agree still better with the three constellations with which follow so what we see here is jupiter going from being birthed from virgo and going straight into the throne room of god then what we see after the the next constellation that we see is scorpio and what does it say in revelation chapter 9 it says and the fifth angel sounded, and I, and I saw a star fall from heaven unto the earth, and to him was given the bottom, the key to the bottomless pit. And he opened the bottomless pit, and there arose a smoke out of the pit, as the smoke of a great furnace, and the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. And there came out of the smoke locusts upon the earth, and unto them was given power, as the scorpions of the earth have power. That's perfect. This is exactly what's happening along the the constellation the book of revelation seems to be written in in the sky what happens after that in revelation uh, chapter 6 what we see here let's uh, focus on this a little bit more let's go into projections and into stereographic let's focus on sagittarius revelation chapter 6 says and i saw the lamb open one of the seals and i heard as it were the noise of thunder and one of the four beasts saying come and see and i saw and behold a white horse and he that sat on him had a bow and a crown was given to him there's the crown he doesn't say he was wearing a crown it says a crown was given to him and he went forth conquering and to conquer so right here guys is the book of revelation wrapped wrapped around the ecliptic uh, and then obviously we'll, we'll go, I'll go into mid-tribulation in, uh, in, in another video. But I hope you can see that, uh, that this is not random. This is not by coincidence. This is all by design. And these are the secrets which are being revealed at the last moments. Praise the Lord.